back, everybody. We've been talking today on Rolanda to women who say that their best friend stole their man. And I'm sitting up here talking to this dude, and you said what? I don't blame Steve. I mean, if he's working out with somebody very close with him, I mean, look at her. How could you resist someone like that? And you're over there clapping, too. You think she should be able to take her best friend's man? Come on, stand up, talk to me. I just wanted to ask her how much does she charge to be instructed and stuff? Clap! <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, Ginger, let's get into this, because you were best friends here, and then you start working out with your best friend's guy. And how did it all kind of like happen that this workout became romantic? Well, you spend a lot of time with someone when you're personal training them. Right. And we were... And Let we... her tell her story, please. Please. <laughs> Go on. And we worked very late hours because we both had very heavy schedules. Um, he's into the martial arts and I had a heavy load. So we'd wind up at the end of the <laughs> evening. <laughs> Go on. So we would wind up at the end of the evenings a lot together after our training. And I'd be hungry and he'd be hungry. So we'd so go, you to go out to eat. Right, just as friends. So just how, as friends. How did, the first, how did it first happen that he asked you out or you asked him out? How did that love connection He never really happen? asked me out because we were always going out. How'd you first go to bed together? Well, I... <laughs> The way most people do. No, not most people. <laughs> most people don't go to bed with their best friend's men. Well, at that point, he, I had him go to her and tell her that we were going to be together. Why didn't you go to her and tell her? Because I thought it was his place to go to her since he was but the one who asked But you're best friends. She called me or something, told me something. I mean, she's... Deanna, yes. tell her, because this is the first time you've seen her in like six months since this happened. Tell her, as the audience quiets down for this, please, tell her what you really felt when she stole your man like that. I mean, it really hurt. I mean, she's my, my best friend, and I have no idea, and she doesn't even have the guts to call me. For six months have gone by, and she hasn't even made an effort to call me once. So why haven't you called her? I didn't really have anything to say to her because she told Stephen um, some terrible things about me when he went to her. I did and not. What are you talking about? Well, that's what he told me. Oh. <laughs> I think, who do you want to see? Steve! Steve! Come on out! Come on, Steve! 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 You got a little bit of explaining to do here, buddy. Sounds like it. Let's go back, Steve, because maybe this isn't as uncommon as we think. I mean, this, this stuff, as Ginger says, stuff happens, okay? How did this happen? Deanna introduced me to Ginger because I was thinking about taking my martial arts career into more of a bodybuilding, weightlifting thing, yeah. which obviously didn't work out. But as we trained, we just became friends, and I started feeling emotionally attracted to her. It wasn't all sexual. You know, and we definitely never <laughs> fooled around. There was no cheating or lying or stealing or anything like that going on behind Deanna's back. Until? No, never until. Never? We, we decided we wanted to get closer. Yeah. And she said right away, you know, we have to be honest and up forward with the whole situation and that I should go to Deanna and make a clean break of it before we went any further. Mm -hmm. So I did. How it's did you say it? God, was that like the <sighs> hardest day of your life? You know the, uh, the country western song, um, She Took It Like a Man? Okay. Well. No, I don't know that song. <laughs> I, I pretty much came out and, and told her that, you know, I had a great time with her and she's a wonderful person. I have nothing bad to say about Deanna. Yeah. But Do you that think I wasn't quote unquote in love with yeah. her. You told me. I, I, I did, did say, <laughs> no, I said I loved, loved her. I did. Yeah. There's a fine line between loving somebody or loving something. Mm. I love pizza, I love sushi, I love sake, I love, I love dogs and cats. First of all, uh, the way, don't you think that uh, the two men are playing the four of you? Okay, Ginger, what, Deanna, what he's doing to Ginger, you can also do the same thing to Ginger to one of her friends. You understand? I mean, come on, wake up. Wake up. Mm -hmm. It's clear. Can, can, I, can, I, can I answer that? Yes, go. That's certainly possible. 
but I believe in, I believe in following my heart. I believe in, if, if I fell for Ginger, which I did and fell hard, it wasn't, it wasn't a fling, we've been going out now seven months. I did, but I felt stronger for Ginger. Now, if I had continued to go out with Deanna, feeling for Ginger, then we would have been living a lie. And that so wouldn't have been what's fair. So the guy's heart went to Ginger. Now, is there something wrong with that? No. We'll continue this conversation right after this. I mean, what's wrong with that? He